This is the first time I've actually worked with Niagara, so it was an interesting learning curve uh, for this system. Because I've used other, or I've used many, many 3D animation programs before, I was very comfortable and very familiar with the Niagara particle system as soon as I started using it. All of these systems tend to just work pretty much the same. They have the same general concepts and the same general procedures. Um, whether it's just particle sizes, uh, uh, force, particle forces, uh, color, color uh, properties, all of that, it's pretty much the same throughout the whole uh, 3D uh, gaming uh, landscape. Nonetheless, I still had to go out there and find out um, how certain parts of Niagara worked because I wasn't really familiar about how to do certain things in this kind of uh, environment. That being said though, I just find it very straightforward in terms of how to actually implement particles in Unreal. Actually, it was surprising to me how easy and how quick, how easy and quick it was for me to pretty much create what I want, what I wanted to make here. What we have is basically a simple particle Niagara system that is attached as a component to the blueprint for the butterfly NPCs. And from there, um, I just set certain parameters uh, for the particles in terms of color, size, lifespan, um, all of those, you know, standard particle properties that I needed to get the look that I wanted. And after a few hours of tweaking, I was pretty much able to get the general look and feel of what I wanted for this effect. Now, the interesting part, or, or actually the most uh, tricky part, was trying to was just learning how to connect blueprint uh, blueprint parameters and blueprint instructions and blueprint logic and integrate that with the particle systems itself. Thankfully, it was pretty easy. Um, for 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 example, if I wanted to have certain parameters within my particle system mod uh, be able to be modified, I can just throw in parameters in there. And it was fairly easy to do that. And I did that for a few of the parameters in my particle system. For example, the particle rate uh, was one of them. I wanted that to be controlled by the actual blueprint itself. Because what I did with that was Depending on how fast or, or the velocity of the butterfly, that would determine how many particles um, would actually be generated per second or per frame. The other variable that I wanted to be able to be changed through the blueprint and dyna dynamically was the uh, color of the particles themselves too. And that was turned into a parameter that can be changed. Because I needed this, because if you know, you would notice that the actual, there's many butterflies and they all have different colors and the particles should be able to match whatever color is preset on the NPC. Also, another aspect that I needed to learn was the materials for um, the Niagara particles, which is a, which from what I'm reading is almost an entirely different thing. but. Thankfully, that was pretty straightforward in itself too. And I needed to do that because the actual glow, I wanted the actual glow effect to mirror the actual glow effect of the butterfly itself. So what I did was just take whatever I did there with the glowing butterfly material and cloned it and used that as the blueprint or the template for the Niagara particles themselves. And then once that was set, um, I just created parameters that were able to be modified so that you, they, each material can match, for example, the color of the actual butterfly. 
And then after that, with just a little bit of few tweaking here and there, I was fairly satisfied with the effect itself. I'll probably most likely make some future changes to it as I go forward. And I think there might be a little bit of a, uh, tweaking here and there to fix maybe some anomalies that I've noticed. But I like what it's looking like right now and I'm pretty satisfied with that. And I think this is a good foundation to start with. All in all, I was fairly surprised and, and, and delighted how easy it was to do uh, do this kind of effect and how and how efficient it was too. Um, I do hope I can maybe have some more opportunities to uh, play with it a little bit more because I felt like because of how easy it was to just grasp that um, I might have missed uh, quite a bit of uh, other things that I can learn from uh, or I should be learning. From, uh, from Niagara. I'd like to thank everybody that's watching this video series and I really hope that you've gotten something from it. Um, it would be much appreciated to help grow this channel and to help further help me advance this uh, this whole project. If you can just like, hit the like button or better yet, hit the subscribe button to help me grow this channel. It'll help really, really help me a lot and I would really appreciate it. And that way I can just continue making this content and just keep delivering what I'm doing here. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all on the next one.